hey guys um it's it's been a minute it's not gonna lie it's been a hot minute it's been a really long time since i've uploaded but i'm here now and i'm uploading i've been super busy i need to start uh posting more i'm pretty sure it's been since the summer since i've posted a video um <laughs> my little buddy missed me i just got home from class um so i've not seen him all day but yes i'm here to upload just kind of like a question type video talking video since i haven't uploaded in so long i can update you guys but i am going to be more consistent i need to get my laptop situation figured out i can't edit videos on it so i have to do it on my phone and that sucks it's not as good and it takes forever to upload and i can't get on my phone the entire time but I'm going to make this short and sweet. Go ahead and thumbs up and subscribe if you would like to see more videos because I will be posting them um, definitely once a week if I can uh, think of things to post. I have like ideas in mind. I just have to figure out like when I can film them. So I'll be getting on that. I've just had a lot going on with school and everything. So i got to that this is my buddy he's so fat <laughs> his name is Jax you've probably seen him in other videos uh, so I'm just gonna answer some questions let's get into so, it so this is called 50 questions you've never been asked so I've not read over the questions yet so I don't know what they're gonna be I'm just going to answer them. I have them over here by me. And yeah, let's just get into these questions that you probably don't care about the answers to. But I'm going to answer them anyways because I need a video to upload. <laughs> so, also, disclaimer real quick. Not really disclaimer, just a little announcement. If you want to follow me on my other social media, which I am very active on, I will put it on the uh, screen. It is just Abby with an I and then a K-U-Y. I'm very active on Instagram mainly. If you would like to check me out on there, feel free to. Okay, what is your favorite candle scent? I really like, um, like fall scents. So like any of those, I don't have a specific scent. I just really like the fall scented candles. I don't really like candles that often, especially since we have cats, I'm like kind of nervous, but I do use wax melts. So that's, that's usually what I put in there is fall scents, like all, time of the, all times of the year. What female celebrity do you wish was your sister? Um, I don't really have any like favorite female celebrities. I don't know. Miley Cyrus is like the first thing that comes in my head. Um, what male celebrity do you wish was your brother? So like my favorite male celebrities are like my, my crushes and I wouldn't want any of them to be my brother. So, okay. Ed Sheeran or like an, a member of One Direction besides Harry Styles so that I can get closer to Harry Styles because they're, they're besties, you know what I mean? They could like hook us up or something. <laughs> That's like my man. How old do you think you'll be when you get married? Um, I'm really not sure, you know, just whenever. I'm really, like, I don't want to be older than 25. I feel like that's getting close to 30, and, like, I don't know. I'm, like, not trying to be too old. Other than that, it really doesn't matter to me what age, as long as it's not too old. Do you know a hoarder? I don't. Actually, I do have a family member that is a hoarder. Like, for real. Like, an actual hoarder. It's not good. Um, I myself hoard things sometimes, like clothes. Like, I'm just really bad at throwing things away because I'm like, what if I need it one day? Can you do a split? No. I wish I could. I told myself I was going to start stretching so I become, like, more flexible. 
No, I can't do a split, like, at all, not even close. Mm, no, I'm not flexible whatsoever. How old were you when you learned how to ride a bike? Like an actual bike or a tricycle, I'm not sure, but I think I was, like, five? I don't know. I honestly don't remember. I remember learning, but I don't remember how old I was. I was definitely, like, younger, though. How many oceans have you swam in? Probably... You know what? Oceans? One. I'm pretty sure one. The same ocean. Yeah, one. How many countries have you been to? I have been to obviously America because that's where I live in Canada. And people always say that doesn't count, but it's in another it is another country, so I don't know why it wouldn't count. Is anyone in your family in the army? No. And yes, I have this Marines shirt on. And it's from Goodwill. No one in my family is in the army. Um, currently. I think people might have been. Like, maybe like grandparents or something. But currently, no. Not that I know of. This is like real distant family. What would you name your daughter if you had one? Honestly, I don't have any names picked out. That's going to be a very hard decision. And the next question is, what would you name your son? And I have no idea. I want them to have a good name. Not one that's complicated. Not one that they're going to go by a nickname anyways. Like, my name is Abigail. No one has ever called me that in my life besides teachers. And I hate it. I always have to be like, eh, I go by Abby. Like, there's no reason in that. My parents don't even call me that, so I don't know why they would name me that um, if I was just going to go by a nickname. Anyways, so it's going to be something, and I don't want it to be something too generic, but, like, it, it's not going to, it doesn't need to be, like, super unique either to where, like, they hate their name. You know what I mean? What's the worst grade you got on a test? Okay, well, I took an exam in this class that I just recently dropped because I did so bad on the exam. I got a 32 and I was like, okay, I'm dropping this class. I'll take it a different semester because it was really hard. And I ha it had too much work in it and I was taking too many credits to do that class because um, I had a lot of work for my other classes and that class like just gave me so much and it was just a gen ed, but it was like a lot of work. So I'm, I'm gonna take it in the summer, but um, I would say a 32. That was pretty bad, I mean, that's, there was no hope. There was no coming back from that. So I just dropped it. Um, what's your favorite? What was your favorite TV show when you were a child? <sighs> Honestly, I don't remember. I really enjoyed Disney Channel shows. I loved Hannah Montana. Like, That's So Raven. I love the future. And what's that one show? Wizards of Waverly Place. Hi, buddy. There was just, I really liked the older Disney Channel shows. What did you dress up as on Halloween when you were eight? I don't remember. Um, probably, actually I think I do remember a cat. I think that was the first year I was a cat maybe. And then after that I was a cat for like five years after that. I was a cat for like many, many years. Like I was basic and I started my basicness in, when I was like eight. Have you read any of the Harry Potter Hunger Game or Twilight series? I think I might have read one Harry Potter book. I don't think I read any Twilight or Hunger Game books though. Do or would you rather have an American accent or British accent? I think it would be so cool to have a British accent. I would really enjoy that. Um, that would be nice. But I don't have one. So. Did your mother go to college? I think that my mom went to college, but then she dropped out. So she went for like a year maybe, and then she didn't finish. What? Are your grandparents still married? Yes, they are. Have you ever taken karate lessons? So there was this free trial of karate lessons and you got to go for free for a day. So if that counts, I did that. <laughs> Do you know who Kermit the Frog is? 
I do. What's the first amusement park you've been to? What, bud? I went to this place called Kenny Land or Kenny World or something like that. I think that was the first amusement park I went to. And like the only, because I don't like amusement parks. I don't ride roller coasters and I hated it, so. Mm. What language besides your native language would you like to be fluent in? I would like to know sign language. And if that doesn't count, then Spanish because that's useful as well. But I would like to know sign language. Do you spell the color as gray or gray with an E or an A? Okay, so I spell it differently all the time because I don't know which way is correct. So, both because I honestly don't know which way is correct. Please comment below which one is correct. Is your father bald? My father is not bald, <laughs> nor is he balding. Do you know triplets? I don't know triplets, but I know that my manager at work has triplets, and I've seen them before, but I, I don't know triplets. I know twins. Do you prefer Titanic or The Notebook? Mm, I think I prefer The Notebook. Yeah, I'm, that's more of my type of movie. Have you ever had Indian food? I have never had actual Indian food. What's the name of your favorite restaurant? Okay, um, I have a few. I love Chipotle. Like, it's one of my favorites for sure. Love Olive Garden, love Panera. But, like, Chipotle is, like, really up here. <laughs> I just love Mexican food. Have you ever been to Olive Garden? Well, as I just named, it's one of my favorite restaurants, so I've been there many times, and I've always gotten the same exact thing, the five cheese zitty. Highly recommend. It's amazing. I love it. Do you belong to any warehouse stores? I do not. What would your parents have named you if you were the opposite gender? I'm not sure. Maybe my brother's name. My brother's name is Josh, so maybe they would have named me Josh because I'm older than him, so... I would have been Josh. Um, if you have a nickname, what is it? Well, my name is technically a nickname. I would say Abby because that's technically a nickname of Abigail. Other than that, I really don't have a nickname. Who is your favorite person in the world? In the world? Um, I wouldn't say I have one specific favorite person. Like. You know, I've got best friends, I've got my family, I've got like everyone. I can't really say one person, you know. I mean like people come to mind, but I feel like that'd be rude to like define one favorite person. <laughs> um, would you rather live in a rural area or in the suburbs? Definitely the suburbs because I like being close to things. I don't like being in the middle of nowhere and yeah that's that's pretty much that like I don't like that <laughs> can you whistle I sure can that was a bad whistle but you, you get it I can whistle <laughs> do you sleep with a nightlight I do not sometimes I sleep with my TV on though because I honestly don't like falling asleep in the dark like I, I don't like it and I like to have noise also do you eat breakfast every morning hi bud I try to because if I don't eat I feel super sick so I try to eat breakfast I try to make it if I can't make it I'll try and get something and if I don't have time to eat breakfast I get really upset um, because I have to wake up early every single morning for class or work Do you take any pills or medication daily? Yes. What medical conditions do you have? I don't have any medical conditions. I have allergies, <laughs> but no actual medical conditions that I know of. How many times have you been to the hospital? In my adult life, once. In my child life, I'm not sure. Like I have no clue. <laughs> Have you ever seen Finding Nemo? Of course, if you haven't seen that, you really need to get on that. 
where do you buy your jeans? I really only buy my jeans from like one or two places. I love American Eagles jeans. Like they honestly just fit me really well. I just really like the quality of their jeans. Other places, they just don't fit me as good. And um, the only thing is they're very expensive at American Eagles. So that's what I don't like. I need to go jean shopping so bad. Like I haven't bought jeans in so long since like freshman year of college and my jeans are literally so old like most of the ones that I have are from before and then like from high school and they're literally falling apart um I, I, I like Hollister's jeans just not as much they don't fit as good what's the last compliment you got um from just like random people and stuff people have been complimenting that my teeth are really white check the description box below for some codes for teeth whitening <laughs> Um, that honestly do work. Um, I've honestly been getting a ton of compliments on that. Actually, the last compliment that I came, that I got before after that was on my new glasses, which I actually just recorded a video on. It's my last video. If you would like to check that out, I will put that somewhere as well. But um, that I actually got a ton of compliments when I wore them just recently because I've only worn them twice because I've not been wearing my glasses much. Um, but I got a ton of compliments on those. Like, people really liked them. Um, do you usually remember your dreams in the morning? A lot of times I do remember my dreams pretty vividly. But some, if I don't think about it, like, as soon as I wake up, I'll forget it. But um, I do remember my dreams, like, a lot. Do you, uh, What flavor tea do you enjoy? So, I have, like, a whole cabinet of teas. And it's, like, actually overflowing. Like, I have a place on the counter for them as well I really like this one tea I got before by the brand called Yogi and it was a it was called the it was the one for your skin and it was like a rose one and it was so good it was really good um I drink green tea a lot chai tea is like my favorite chai tea lattes are amazing um so yeah I enjoy really any tea I have so many and I just love them all <laughs> oh no how many pairs of shoes do you currently own? I actually own a lot. Like, I feel like I don't because I wear the same shoes all the time. But I probably own more than 20 pairs. Like, at least. Um, I just, like, barely wear them. Or they're falling apart. Or they're just really old or I don't like them. I just don't throw things away. <laughs> uh, I really only wear, like, the same, like, five pairs, though. So, <laughs> But I actually own a lot. I don't want to go count them, though. So... What religion will you raise your children to practice? Well, I personally am Christian, so um, I'll probably raise them in a, a Christian household. I'm not going to, like, force anything on them, but I will encourage it. How old were you when you found out that Santa wasn't real? I don't remember. Probably, like, third, fourth, or fifth grade. I probably knew before then. Probably, like, second. I don't know. Probably, like, seven six seven i don't know i can't remember why why do you have a tumbler they're just assuming that i have a tumbler i do have a tumbler though um i don't use it though i used to have it just to blog and because like it was really popular whenever i used to have one it's, i feel like it's not as popular anymore um i don't get on it so i just had one because i thought it was fun to post pictures on there and like take cool tumblr-esque pictures and i thought it was fun okay so that's the end of the video uh it was kind of long but i hope you guys enjoyed it these are just some random questions uh if you have any other questions you can comment them below i can take some and use it for a q a sometime be sure to check the description box i will have some links to some things including my social media some discount codes for everyone be sure to subscribe if you are new to my channel or if you're not new and just not subscribed like what are you doing that means you're just typing my name in you might as well just subscribe um and yeah i will see you guys in my next video if there's anything specifically that you'd like to see comment below thanks guys for being patient with me on my uploading i promise to get back on it and i'll see you guys next week hopefully bye